What's up, you guys? I'm DJ Phaser. And today, I'm going to show you how I turned my Raspberry Pi computer into a sample based multi instrument solution for live performance. <laughs> Chaos Pad. It's a multi effects processor and looping sampler. It's got four loop banks. This is basically the heart of my live looping setup right now. But this over here is my Raspberry Pi computer. So I actually went looking for some kind of application to be able to use this little computer as a MIDI controlled sampler unit or synthesizer, but I found this piece of software called Sampler Box. I'll stick links in the description if you want to know more information. And it's a ready-to-go distribution. Uh, it's built right on top of Debian, I believe. The idea is you install Sampler Box on your Raspberry Pi, and then you load up a flash drive with your own sounds, plug in a MIDI controller, hook up the audio, and you have a ready-made sampler unit that will play your own custom sounds. If you haven't heard of the Raspberry Pi, it's a very compact credit card sized, fully functional Linux-based computer. It can also run Windows, but this is the Raspberry Pi 3. The Raspberry Pi 3 has four USB ports, an ethernet port, an HDMI output, and an audio output as well as the power plug. It runs on a micro SD card and it also has these expansion pins for various hats as they're called, third party boards that you can mount on top. It's a tiny computer, costs about 40 bucks for just the base unit. I also have the Hi-Fi Berry DAC, Hi-Fi Berry adapter, digital to analog converter, a higher quality sound card basically. It's a high quality sound card add-on that just pops right Right on top of it. These two RCA ports are for a left and right high quality sound output. If you do decide to do a project like this, I highly recommend having a higher quality sound interface, such as the Hi-Fi Berry or an external USB sound interface like I'm using. The internal audio can be pretty noisy. It's not that great. So anyway, today I'm gonna break down how I got my Raspberry Pi up and running with Sampler Box. Put audio samples on a USB flash drive along with a MIDI controller and a sound interface. The Pi basically becomes a sample-based instrument player. It's real simple to get running. You just go to the website, samplerbox.org, and it has all kinds of instructions. It's actually designed so that you can build your own box that has buttons and an LCD display as well as like a breakout board with a MIDI port but all that is optional. All you really need to get running is to download the software, put it on the SD card, hook everything up and boot it up. So I have my Raspberry Pi along with my Akai MPK Mini MIDI controller. I'm using my Focusrite interface as the primary sound output, so I'm just plugging that directly into my Pi. And then my MIDI controller, and then the power plug. If all goes well, you should be able to play a basic square wave sound. Of course, the real beauty is being able to load your own sounds onto a USB drive, any kind of USB storage device. You can even hot swap it while it's turned Turned on. But you put your own sounds on the drive, plug it in, and you should be able to switch between them and play all kinds of instruments. That you either downloaded or created yourself. The main distribution is a little bit limited, but there's a fork of the project where this guy has extended the main software with all kinds of additional functionality and configuration options. So you can configure all the different knobs and buttons. For example, you can set one of the knobs to control the volume of whatever instrument you're on. It also gives you a lot more flexibility for configuring each sample set. So each instrument can be configured, for example, to be either a one-shot or a looping sample. You can adjust the attack, decay, sustain, release values for the envelope, even per sample, per note. There's just a lot more options. I highly recommend grabbing this distribution. I'll put links to these in my description so you can go grab it and try it out for yourself. 
Once you've got the software flashed onto an SD card, your Pi is all ready to go. The other main setup step is to load up a flash drive with some sounds to play. Now loading up sounds is pretty simple. It's really just a matter of putting your samples in folders that are appropriately named, starting with a number and then a space and the name of the preset. The numbers start at zero. Number zero will be the one that loads by default when you first boot it up. Inside each of these folders is just a collection of your samples in WAV format. Each folder needs one of these definition.txt files. There's various keywords that are documented on the website. One of the most common ways is to have percent note name and then dot wave that specifies that each of the files is named according to the note that it plays this particular sample happens to be tuned to f3 the sampler box will automatically pitch shift the one note to fill in the rest of the notes if you get the extended version of the software that i recommend you can also define various other parameters such as the release value a lot of these sample sets are actually freely available available on the main website, samplerbox.org, under instruments. There are a lot of freely available samples to get you started. All ready to go, they already have the definition.txt file. All you have to do is download them, unzip them, and put the folder on your drive. Some of them, such as this grand piano, are a little bit more complex. For example, this is the note of A2 played in 16 different velocities. And somewhere in here, there's a definition file. There it is. You might need a text editor that's more sophisticated than Windows Notepad. I like to use Notepad++. For this sample set, it's actually only defining five different velocities. The software automatically interpolates all of the values in between. So if you play a velocity, say of 107, it'll automatically pick the closest sample that corresponds to that velocity and adjust the volume accordingly. A lot of these sample sets are already set up and defined for you. Some of them, like this one, the Lately Bass, which I really love, doesn't even need a definition file because if you use a number as the file name, it corresponds to the actual MIDI note value. The MIDI note of 60 actually corresponds to the note of C3, I believe. But if you name the files like this, then you don't even really need to have a definition file. For example, this is standard 808 drums that I loaded in here and I map them out to the notes that are played when I hit each of my drum pads. Once you've got a bunch of sample sets loaded onto your flash drive, go ahead and eject it. And then we just gotta stick the USB drive into the Raspberry Pi, plug in power and see what happens. If all is well, It makes noise. Now on this particular controller, you can put it into prog change mode. So then each of these pads corresponds to loading a different preset. So this, by default, this is um, number zero, which is the one it loads by default. And that loads them according to how you have them numbered on the flash drive. This first sample is just literally one file. So if I hit it, it loads pretty much instantaneously, but the piano or other sample sets that are much larger will take quite a while to load. So it's not necessarily feasible to be able to switch instruments very quickly, you know, unless you make sure to optimize your samples so that they will load very quickly, that they're very small, not too complex. So now that it's up and running, I could give you a little demo. Yo, 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 yo. It works. Yo, yo, yo. So I could lay down a quick beat, starting with my mouth and then adding some of the sounds from the sampler.
pretty good demonstration of what you can do with sampler box I still really want to configure a lot of my own custom sounds for this thing but that's all it takes to set up your own custom little sampler box hope you enjoy what you've seen here I hope you learned something uh, there's plenty of links in the description try it out for yourself uh, let me know how your experience is if you have any questions Maybe I can answer them. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm DJ Phaser. Don't forget to hit like if you learn something. Subscribe for more cool music stuff. Live looping. Thanks for watching. Peace out.